Today we are going to discuss about pure torsion. Sometimes it is known as pure twisting moment. For the subject of fundamental of machine design. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. Like, share and subscribe. Let's take the question. What do you mean by pure twisting? Discuss critically the assumptions made in the theory of twisting. The weightage of this question in examination is 3 marks. So first of all, the definition of pure twisting. A shaft is said to be in pure torsion when it is subjected to equal and opposite end couples. Sometimes it is known as the twisting moment whose axis coincide with the axis of the shaft. So let's try to understand the definition with the help of the figure. So say for example, this is the shaft having one end is fix. So this is a symbol for the fix and this is the free end. This is the axis of the shaft and now it is subjected to the twisting moment T and so that it will be the reaction at the fix end. So now you can understand the definition. A shaft is said to be in pure torsion when it is subjected to equal and opposite. So here you can see equal magnitude T and T but in opposite nature. This is in the clockwise direction and this is in anti-clockwise direction. So equal and opposite end couples. So these are the two ends of the shaft. So end couples. So sometimes it is called as a couples or you can say it is a twisting moment whose axis coincide with the axis of the shaft. If you see the axis of this twisting moment that is here coincide with the axis of the shaft. So this is the definition of the pure twisting. So due to the application of the torque at the two ends, the shaft is subjected to twisting moment and this causes the shear stresses and shear strain in the material. So if I want to draw the shear stress distribution diagram, so it is like that. This is the shaft. So I have taken one of the small part of this shaft over here to understand the shear stress distribution. So it is the cut section. So here you can see it is a cut section. So this is a plane. Let's assume that this is the horizontal plane. So this is the vertical plane. So both these planes are actually perpendicular to each other. So the shear stress is maximum at the surface of the shaft. Here you can see and this is the shear stress variation. So at the center of the shaft it is zero and then it is gradually increasing. And that shear stress that is actually very linearly that you can see this is a straight line. Similarly, this is the another plane that is the cross section of the shaft we can say or vertical plane where shear stress is maximum at surface of the shaft and shear stress is zero at the center of the shaft on this plane and this is the shear stress variation and that is linearly increasing. So you can see over here it is linearly increasing. So this plane horizontal plane and this plane vertical plane in which this is the shear stress distribution. Now the next question assumptions for the pure twisting. So first the material is perfectly homogeneous and isotropic. So you know that homogeneous that means at each and every point the material having the same chemical composition and same property. Isotropic that means the material having same properties in all the direction. The stresses induced during the torsion are within its elastic limit. And third one, the material obeys Hooke's law. Fourth one, the transverse sections which were plane before twisting it remains plane after twisting. That means the dimension of the transverse section are remains constant before twisting and after twisting. Next, the twist along the shaft is uniform. The shaft is of uniform circular cross section throughout. Already which were straight before twisting remain straight after twisting. That means the radius is the straight before twisting and after twisting. That means after application of the twisting radius 
is the straight line not the curve radius is remain straight not deform so thanks my dear friends